Well guys, here's part two of my um, low-cost Haynes Roadster build. Uh, as you can see, it's coming along okay. It's all tacked up so far. Uh, just working out where to put stuff, um, gearbox size and everything else. Um, the gearbox tunnel here isn't fully finished yet. Um, still trying to work out where to put the uprights. Bit of a problem because I don't actually have the manual gearbox yet. But what I am using is the uh, gearbox from the automatic. Um, the bell housing is the same so I need to basically use that to work out where stuff goes. Um, sorry it's not the same uh, but it's the same kind of overall shape at the front which is the main thing. Um, so yeah as you can see it's coming along okay, uh, tacked up. It's got quite a big engine bay area to be honest in comparison to other ones. Uh, which has caused me no end of trouble. I've had to redesign the whole, basically the whole section uh, from this point forward. It is all being reworked uh, to fit it in. The actual size from here to here is actually standard, um, but it's just the width of this bar going across from that side to that side. It's actually about a centimetre wider, which is a little bit more foot room and a bit more tunnel space, which is nice. Um, but you'll see over here, had a bit of a problem with the front frame. I uh, bought a front frame and it wasn't quite right, so I've made my own from scratch. Should have done that in the first place to be honest, but I was trying to save time and be lazy. Actually ended up making more time for me, but hey, it's a lesson to learn, just make it yourself. Um, yeah, these uprights, um, in the Haynes Roadster book they're called U1 and U2. Um, bit of a problem when I put them on here. Sorry, one second. Just get my hand right place. It's hard doing it with just like that. Right. They actually came up and stuck out the edge quite far, about, about a centimetre or so. So what I've done is I've taken the line down and basically bent them up slightly, 24 degrees, uh, to join straight into the middle of here. And where they stick out at the back there, there'll actually be a crossbar going down to here uh, as per the book. So that'll be nice and strong. Um, these are well, they're pretty well, I think. Seen quite nice deep welds, nice and tidy. So hopefully that should be okay, no problem at all. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's it's getting there really. Um, a lot of work, really. Yeah, considering I've reworked it all, it's just been a bit of trouble, but nothing too hard. I did most of the calculations on a piece of paper, so that's kind of all pre-done. Um, what else? Uh, yes, I cut off um, cut off the front of the planum from the standard RB25. Here it is. I'll be milling that down later on and making that uh, adapter so it goes onto uh, crash goes onto here. As such, um, obviously the size difference is actually quite big, so I need to work out what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'll probably end up, uh, I don't know, <laughs> might cut this off here, um, put a big block of alley on there, a big kind of fat block, maybe about an inch or so, and then milling it down, or kind of grind it down with a die grinder so it matches the opening here, so it gives a nice smooth uh, airflow. That should hopefully be okay. Um, next to do on the build is basically do the back frame, the SB frames, uh, going up back there, crossbar. I'll be. I was toying with the idea of sticking round tube here, going down um, to give a nice kind of smooth edge, uh, but it'll just be trouble. So what I decided to do is put the normal box section down here, and then get like a half tube and then kind of put it over the top and give it a nice uh, edge to it and I can install poppers on the back then so I can pop on door panels if I want to put them on and that kind of stuff uh, that'd be quite nice, hopefully that'd be okay uh, if anyone's interested this is 25mm by 25mm by 2mm ERW um, box section real nice stuff, real nice stuff, real sharp which is what you want yeah they are, real, real sharp um, in comparison to some of the other stuff, I don't know if I have it around here. Uh, where? Okay. Uh, right.
There we are. It's not my welding, but this is a this is a bit of a comparison for you. Don't know if you can see it very well, uh, but the sharpness uh, is better. If that makes any sense. Also, this uh, other stuff, which is cold rolled, I don't know if you can see, it's got like a seam on the inside of here running down. That's really hard to see. Um, get a bit of light. There, you can see the seam now. Which is, uh, it's okay, I guess, but what I prefer is this ERW stuff, uh, which actually has a seam down the edge here. It's actually on the inside. If you look in there, it's uh, nice and smooth and kind of clean and I just prefer it. Less dirty, uh, but it will rust faster. So you need to kind of get on and build your, build your frame and get it all done. Um, yeah, this is part two. And yeah, so hope you guys are enjoying this. And yeah, thanks so much. Bye.